Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Langreser mobile series. And do not get distracted, even though a new month and a new event are starting, uh, the Timeless Trials week remains the same, and uh, it is our job to finish it, to obtain the maximum rewards. HP reduced will only take fixed damage. Alright. We have some tools for this. The question is, what does the enemy have? I can already sense myself bringing Freya and bringing Joshua. I don't need you, I could eat, use Tiaris, maybe even with Miracle. And uh, I guess I could bring Egbert. After all, he can deal killing blows and that's all we need from him. Let's put uh, Egbert here. Here. And let's make sure that everyone else is ready. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there are no uh, move again dogs, so I will be staying back here. I'm not gonna activate this yet. As I'm here, and I'm gonna move here, and Luna can then do faction battle. After all, our goal is only to trigger the fixed damage effects that would be able to kill enemies. Let's see how we go ahead and to try to do that. But it's already good that there's so many flyers, it's gonna make our job a little bit easier. Um, for this we're gonna start with Joshua. gonna try to apply, there we go, the fixed damage at the end. We can continue here. Damage already helping. And then even though damage is reduced, uh, yeah, I can come here and shoot. At the very least, Princess Faction buff is going to deal some fixed damage. Finally, we make sure that the uh, Sage Hat protection is applied. And we finish the turn with Miracle. So the most important thing of a turn like this is that uh, Freya is able to counter attack anything and everything. And we already see some kills going through. I'm really happy I gave Freya so many ways to deal uh, fixed damage because there are levels like this that just require either uh, the act of Lifani or simply Freya existence. It could get tough when the Swordsman gets to us, but right now Freya is taking care of everything else. That's a lot of healing. Will we heal as well? Nope. Heavy shield triggering at the right time, that's pretty good. Healing light too, there we go. Very good barbs damage. Okay, we don't get the shield. And Freya disappears, that's not really good. So what are we gonna do? Our problem right now is to get as many kills as possible before uh, their counter attack next time gets us. So we're gonna go like this. Any amount of damage is good, because we want to use Joshua last. And then see if we survive the last hits on our own merits. And... That's not quite enough. Well, if Egbert's at, Egbert ends up taking all the hits, that would be bad. That doesn't seem to be the case. That's a good kill, and this should be fine. Good! So what's the next thing we can do? Um, well, this can go here. Now that we know that the catapult cannot one-shot basically anyone at this point, uh, we can for sure attack at our own leisure. Uh, 
Um, how about I do this? I think I'm more interested in killing the melee person because it's more capable of dealing damage. Killing damage. That's important. Was it a crit? I forgot. No, no crit. But at least we got attack down. Gonna help. Healing light keeps us alive for a little longer. Again, no crit. Hmm. Getting unlucky. The real is now we have an ability and uh, maybe we can get the job done that way. Um, so how about this? That was a crit. Goodbye. Right. Let's only give them the target of Joshua, and that way, at least, if Joshua crits, his talent can trigger. Ah, but he cannot attack because of the range. That is fine. We'll go into melee and attack then. That was really close. Um, we have an AoE. That should be the end. Unit receives fatal damage, they refuse to die. Okay. So we start surrounded. This is pretty bad. I'm gonna bring Leon. Leon is gonna push and then walk. One, two, three. We don't need you, we don't need you, we need you, we need Leden. Leden is gonna activate the shield, and that means I should bring someone who's able to buff him. I guess I could bring Elwin. What do we have the most? It's two cavalries. Only one ranged. Yeah, this should be fine. So, chivalry start. So even if this is a one-shot kill, it won't kill because of the time low. That means they still revive and that means they still get pushed. So now we can get here. Now we can get um, into this position. With Leden, we can then support with, uh, with Gyaris, especially for the Sage Hut buff. I guess I should have done it myself. And then Elwin is gonna do action buff. I guess we could call call this our little fortress, uh, especially because Ledin with healing light is oh god he's using mass mates. That's that's my bad. I don't know if he will survive. We'll see. Okay, no, that was you know what he didn't die. Healing light. Oh, I. So the last thing I did with Ledin was uh, I think Phoenix or uh, ah Scylla. Never mind. And uh, the mass mates helped me finish Scylla. Wow, are we not triggering 80% of the time? A lot. That's really bad. Okay. Simple mistake. Only one stamina. Not be too bad. So, phalanxes, please, and the rest should remain the same. He'll push. It also would explain how little damage Ledin was doing. Because uh, at this point, with Phalanxes, he should still be very able to one-shot any of these cavalry units. 
or at the very least, more considerable damage than what he was doing. So, just like before, we ensure that the stage had buff on Ledin, that's why I didn't move Elwin first. But Elwin still needs protection. Okay, now it's a different story. Now it's a very different story. Now I kinda wish I had brought some AoE, just because I'm greedy. There goes the second. I guess no kill on the lobster yet. Healing like once again, that's pretty good. And win protection from, from the bird. So our objectives right now are to kill units, right? Which means I should start by dealing as much damage as possible to Slevy. Trying to get the kill. Good job. Uh, bone dinos technically deal more damage, so it should be good to kill them. Uh, Ledin is not going anywhere, so he just passes. Luna attacks. Very good shot. Just not quite enough. And then we heal Ledin, give him Sage Hat buff again. And there we go. Now we start with the proper kills. Number one. I like his first kill for this person. Cavalry. Goodbye. And the lobster should also trigger its first death. Uh, and, and the angels too. At this point I think I could just auto and win. Do that. See if the computer manages to screw it up. So Luna should be firing on the angel. Leon should be hitting... Yep. Yeah, exactly. And then <laughs> Elwin will attack the cavalry. Hopefully not die in the way. Hey, he didn't die. Good job. <clears throat> Alright, that's the second stage. Number three, when you attack a target with lower HP than yours. So maybe we shouldn't do the AoE thing. But it's so pretty. I'm, I'm gonna do the AoE thing. So I don't need you, I don't need you or you. You can stay. I'm gonna need Lana. Lana's gonna need the AoEs that hit harder. Joshua, I'm gonna need other AoE. And as the final person, I guess, I guess having Leden is. And it is true, and let's go. So of all these units, who can again? You can aim, you can aim, and that's it. That means we can totally respect this one and there should be no problem. <clears throat> also no need to start already with the buffs, they're quite far away. It may take yet another turn. Maybe the old form in line, which would be very nice for Joshua. Well, the law specifically said when attacking, which means that as long as we're doing AoE damage, the law won't apply. 
As long as we're counter-attacking, the law won't apply. If I do this, it looks like an Astart. So let's do that. Uh, Joshua could get here and say hi to this. I think that's good. So, in preparation for that... This comes first, then comes Miracle. Luna would reduce damage, that's fine. And finally, almost perfect Dark Demise, but not. Alright, see what happens. Protect Lana, that was important. Okay, so uh, Joshua will go last, but I wanted to check who is gonna get hit by that. That means if there's no chance to hit here, then I don't need to put uh, Lana in any special place. She will be... You know what, we're gonna all focus here. And after that, I will decide if someone gets to attack this. Probably gonna be the case. Oh, that was really nice. That was super good. Okay, let in here. You go here. And Luna is gonna try to kill this in one shot. With attack blessing, full health enemy. Oh, that was pretty close. Okay, we're gonna stand close to them so that the, the enemy tries to kill us, fails, and then the Lancer kills, uh, attempts to kill um, Gary's, but ends up dying. And there goes stage number three. On to four. Ranged attack damage minus 50%. Fine. The enemy will be arriving all together, so I can pretty much go with the same tactic. So let's do that. I think this person will come here, do aim, and not be able to cross here because these are deaths, and deaths require three moves. So we will remain safe. Joshua over here. It's not yet the turn to the miracle. So, oh, mass attack over there. And people getting really close to us, that's really good. Okay, so I want to start with this AoE as the good range. And it basically hits everyone that would have been hit by uh, Heaven Sanction as well. And because Heaven Sanction has more uses, keep that one. Three in line means we take advantage of it. Maybe we get a kill here. Ooh, very close. Six stars Joshua probably would have done it. So that's something we're looking for forward in the future. Looking for forward in the future. There we go. Get the kill over here. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I would bring uh, Freya along, but Freya's tanking capability is nothing compared to Leden. And right now it need, I need Leden to survive all the hits. 
But the fixed damage at the start would have easily taken care of all these slow health enemies. So a decay, that's pretty fine. Uh, I, I did one gear change from the last time we did Timeless Trials, which is that now Tiaris has the Goddess Tear, and that gives her a pseudo Liana effect, where she cleanses uh, everyone else of one debuff in two tiles range. So a four star Liana effect if you want. And I think that for a simple SSR accessory, that seems like a very good power. Attack number one, fraction. Attack number two. Let's see if we can get a shot, a kill. And we do. And the attack number three will come from Joshua. Really, really like Joshua. So much fun to use. Uh, he's very close to starring up. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we ha also gave Thierry's sorceresses. I know it's not the best uh, support for healing, but I think he Thierry's healing is currently way over the top. Exactly what we want. And sorceresses allow me to do some damage. You, ranged attack, minus 50%. Okay. What are we killing? Is this juggler? Ah, that explains. Okay, so there is a juggler who does not have a faction buff. The faction buff is right here. Okay. Uh, this is Guardian Cavalry. Okay, 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 okay. So, what do we know? This uh, move again. Okay, but no strike. Okay. Even though it said range damage reduced by 50%, it does not say AoE is reduced. So I feel maybe we can take this on anyway. Maybe without Joshua. Oh uh, yes, of course. Who is the power of faction? Is it uh, Empire? Like Empire. In that case, maybe maybe we change our plan entirely, and we bring some of the units from Empire that we can trust on. Of course, we're going to be bringing uh, action buff. I think Tiaris would be a great healer for this mission anyway. So let's do this. Okay, maybe we maybe we even have a fair fight. Who knows? Uh, all right, because we do not know if this is going to trigger uh, us by existing or not, we will just move forward, preparing for next turn. And if they do activate, well, we may have to It's also the Leviar map, so... I guess there is that tidbit of information. Do a miracle in preparation, and let's see what the turn brings. Well, they do move forward. So let's see which order the dominoes fall in. Okay, so killing Jaggler right now would be a waste of time. Don't think we can get that done. I'm going to start by punching the Hate um, with Ledin. Ledin has the biggest chance of survival against him. Now that he's so low on health, uh, I can consider who will get the finishing blow. Regarding Kirikaze, we're gonna go with uh, Elwin's Roar, lower the attack power immediately. See how much damage we deal. I don't think I can affect this panorama just yet. So what I'm gonna do is... Ah, of course. We're not gonna use chivalry. We're just gonna move like this. And then... I think I'm gonna try to stay over here. And just apply one heal. Let's see if we survive this turn. Jessica's gonna do some really nasty AoE. Hopefully, not Tornado. Oh, he goes for a single target. That's amazing because Healing Light brings us right back. 
Okay, well, they went for the fair battle and they're losing it, and I'm happy for that. Sophia keeps applying all the buffs that she can, but it's not really going to make a difference because uh, Jessica decided to get outside of range. We are going to start with... Uh, hmm... I think we are capable of killing Jessica, so what I'm gonna do is also push Juggler away before we uh, deal damage on anyone else so that the heal doesn't get affect them there. And I'm gonna move back. Then I'm gonna use Elwin first. Normal attack on Jessica. Oh my god, that was not normal. But hey, it's an Empire favored day, and this is exactly what happens in the, that case. See if we get a kill on Juggler, we do not. So I may have actually taken the spot for someone else who would have used it. Okay, well, we are at 100% health, which means the officers should be doing as much damage as possible, but that was not enough. That is fine, that is fine, that is fine. At this point, the battle is very much won. I don't think anyone can overcome Elwin, uh, Ledin and then also kill someone else so it's just a matter of time there goes Juggler Sophia refuses to do anything useful and then does me the favor of dying ah, close that was very decent it was a little bit scary that they started so far away, uh, but we didn't need to do any cheese at all. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is the crystals, right? 300 crystals. Yay! And there goes the fund into restarting our crystal uh, wallet after the brutalization of the Macho Lotto. So, uh, this is gonna be it for now. This is uh, Trials S, and next up will be SS. However, for now, I'll be taking a break, and I'll see you later.